All right, you guys, so this is just very quick to show you precisely what I mean. Because I did the video yesterday. You could go back and watch. And I said, if TNX breaks this line and look, it gapped, you will see a response in the market, period. That's math. Okay, that's it. It's math. Now, not speculation, it's math. Over here, what did you see? You see you're 1.4% <clears throat> down. That doesn't mean it's the end of the world, right? I'm just trying to show you the correlation, the sh very, very strong correlation of these things that I'm talking about. Um, if you do not understand what this is, you should go learn what TNX is, what a bond is. It would then open your eyes to a whole lot. So that's what we're seeing this broke today there's other factors there's other things that and people are going to weigh in with their different ideas but this is this is a very very strong indicator now you go over to the vix right still not getting it seems crazier than it is so if you're watching the market today you know bitcoin's back down three percent but then you go over to the vix and it is still chilling out here. In fact, with all this nonsense going on, it's still in this little bit of a downtrend. Or, you know, do we eliminate this trend line? You know, and then you could maybe be looking at it if you wanted to try to make something of this. You could look at it like that a little bit, right? You could be looking at it as a, a flag, but the point is, is that um, sorry, I had to sneeze. The point is, is that uh, exactly this is why I'm, I'm teaching this exact thing because boom, spy down. Okay. So that's it. So you want to know what's going to happen next. It's not looking good. I had, so this again, like nobody, when I'm saying this stuff, it's bullish ideas. These ideas, that's why we have this indicator because all week it seems to make sense. You know, this idea that the spy, that this is going to end up being a uh, bear trap, right? That's the idea. That I that you know things seem to be leaning that direction up until, and that's why we use indicators, just like the weather, right? Just like the oil light on your car, you know, the oil light on my car is telling me, uh oh, yo, I might need to stop on that idea, and I mean, I might need to take a, a a sudden turn the other way to go get oil in my car. That's what the TNX is telling you guys. So you have an idea about a play like i have an idea about what's going to happen tomorrow as does you know a million other people out there but i have the 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 right signal i'm watching the right signals to say hey yo that idea might not work the car is giving you a different signal okay am i going to stick to my idea or adjust and then how do you do that? Because this breaking over 3.5, you guys, that is bad, dog. Bad news going on out there. Look, I mean, I was telling you about this down here. Or wait, yeah, yeah, down here. I'm, I've been talking about this all the way since down here. But I was telling you about bad news here. And then I said, if it breaks, this was... Look, August 25th, 26th, so like a month ago, I'm like, yo, if this shit starts to hit up here, we're going to have a bad, it's going to be a bad look. People are going to start to worry. That was like what I was saying. See the alert? And then I'm like, hey, if it hits up here, people are really going to start to worry. And then I have this line that's like, yo, if it breaks out, uh-oh, something is up, dude. Something's not good. The market is not going to like this. Your next stopping point who the hell knows? I'm not even going to go back. But I just wanted to show you that. Because you can see the results right now. 
Oh, they don't hear me though. There's four people out there listening, and maybe uh, maybe they hear me. I, I don't know. But anyway, so that's that that should show you, man. That should show you what's up, because coming into this meeting, that's not a good look, man. The only thing that makes me think otherwise is this VIX indicator right now. It's not it's not blowing up, but this shit can blow up super quick. It could blow up tomorrow, you know. So you really got to keep an eye on it. And I hate shorting. I hate this idea. Okay, I hate the idea of shorting here. That seems stupid to me. Um, but if things go sideways, I will have to. I don't like it, but I will have to because I will have to, you know, but I don't want to. So, you know, let's check the dollar. Oh, my God. What's going on over here? What's going on with this? Okay. Yeah, the dollar's running, man. <clears throat> well, I'm not... Yeah, it's running, but... Um, I ain't too worried about it right now. Anyway, I hope that helps, guys, because look at that shit! Well, dude, if you understood... If you know, you know. That should not be where it's at. Like I said, TNX will be the leading indicator for Bitcoin, for the markets, for everything, until this all, this recession, everything is over. This is a big deal. Either you get it or you don't. Selah. Om.